There's been some discussion that the cost of a, a college education in Texas has gotten to be so high, and I put that in quotes because it's all relative, right. that the legislature might think about going back in and perish the thought re-regulating tuition. Is that an open possibility during this session that you all might come in and look at jimmying with this again? I think there are people who certainly in, intend to do that. Are you I one of those people? I think, it's, I think it's an issue that we ought to address because it's a, a, the source of concern to a lot of the people who send us to Austin. Yeah. Uh, one, we have to make sure that we don't base that metric solely upon the University of Texas, Texas A&M, and University of Texas, Dallas. For somebody who does not have those, uh, I, I sort of uh, in, insistent and say, let's talk about UTPB and let's talk about West Texas A&M, but let's also talk about UT Pan Am and UT Tyler and, and those places and talk about what it really costs. Yeah. Because the cost of higher education is not just the cost here in Austin during College Station. Yeah. Um, I think that, that we shouldn't have, the discussion has now gone more to um, talk about inflation, which is a real cost that must be addressed by the state and all of its agencies, and why not by higher education. If we re-regulate, just exactly how are we going to re-regulate and meet the needs of institutions of whom we ask a great deal and will ask more? Right. We, that has to be done very, very carefully. I think that the institutions hear very loudly and clearly when people in the legislature say that their vote to deregulate tuition was one of the worst ones they ever made. I don't think anybody, if you had told members of the legislature exactly what the increases in tuition would have been from deregulation to the present, uh, there would have been no more than three or four votes in the legislature to do it. There's a cautionary note there, but I think it's being heard loud and clear. But of course the tension, Mr. Chairman, is between what the universities need to do and do do on the cost of a college education and the decline in the state's share of contribution to higher ed funding. I believe at UT, my colleague Ross Ramsey said that from 1984 to today, the share of, of the state's contribution to higher ed went from something like 50% to 13%. There's a point at which the state is almost by default getting out of the business of funding higher ed when you get down to that level. So if the state is not going to put in the money, what do the universities have to do but look at their own tuition costs possibly going up? Where, where, is, where is the inflection point there between those two things? I'm not sure that that, that could be answered. Apparently it can't be answered by me. Um, we have to weigh that very, very carefully and, and, and are all the universities' goals and their plans completely justifiable? Because as being, being state universities, they have to get that money very much from the taxpayers. Yep. And we answer to them, too. Yeah. And, and where's the inflection point? I don't know. But there has to be a balance point. Is the state funding higher, let me ask you straight away, is the state funding higher education today adequately? I don't know that I can answer that. But why, would, why not? One would have to say that it's not inadequate because look at all the great universities doing the great job. Clearly it is not a complete disconnect or failure because so many of them are doing such a good job in all parts of the state. You, Something's working. You have presidents and chancellors in, in this room with you. Do you think if, if I asked them whether uh, higher ed was adequately funded by the state that they would say yes or I don't know? I think they'd probably say no. If you put 50 more billion dollars from general revenue into higher education tomorrow, they'd say the same thing. So you think that there's no end to the amount of funding that they would like if that were... Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you're not prepared to say as the incoming chairman of Center Higher Ed whether the state is doing an adequate job of funding higher ed. You, you don't feel like you know, you, you know the answer to that? No, because, but I don't think you can define adequate. Why not? I guess there's a lawsuit over that right now, isn't there? No, no that's, in, that's in, in public ed. That's in public ed. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but but why, why can't you define it? Well, because you say it's inadequate, but yet you've got these universities, a lot of whom are growing and doing a very, very good job. Yeah. Something is working. Right. Sure, everybody can use more money, but, but is, do they need the more money really to do a good job or an excellent job? There's always more and there's always better and there, always, there is always bigger, yeah. but, but for the core mission, yeah. is it funded inadequately? Like I say, they can always use more money, but is it, is it truly inadequate in light of the fact yeah that uh, the taxpayer is going to have to foot the bill.